this is my message for you that before you come to Nigeria, let me just tell you things you know to prepare your mind for to in case your village people successfully brought you down uh, maybe you are even being led to come okay Be, get ready for They are usually don't because uh, these days uh, my strength is so 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 blessed. But I tell you to do today and uh, men now so I just retire for this for this shop like this. I just sit down. Milk can never buy. Things where I come by for market don't save, I never see them buy. But as you can see, this baby girl is tired, sweating. And then again, I think I've gone to the market in recent times. I mean, the prices of things are just alarming. I don't know if it is just here or is everywhere. But I can't imagine buying a print of Gary for 800 naira. How about why? When? How did we get here? things are super expensive i keep complaining at every stop i had i mean each time i have to price something and they tell me the price it's always like and i'm always like what how do our government want us to cope in this situation no just tell me because here we are it's not as if salary is being increased no money in the circulation and food i mean food which should be the cheapest thing at least for any citizen of the country is even on the high side how where do we go from here please so 2023 is here it's around the corner i beg you make una no use your emotion votes make una vote wisely vote with your brain no make we gotta do this thing together no religion for this one no make everybody go go enter streets make we do this our civil rights and may we do them well this time our only chance for the next four years is 2023 and those people have started coming out again please i'm begging do not let anything whatsoever you know um shift your attention from the focus of choosing a good leader for this nation we know yeah uh, god will choose for us but even if god will choose for us we still need to do our own this is me speaking passionately um you know from 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 a hot heart that well reliable let me show you something let me show you what i've gotten i came to the market this morning with twenty thousand naira. i don't hope that money will buy half of what i want to buy and this is not a major market this is 23rd of sorry 26 of april i'm just doing a mini market run and twenty thousand naira is not even enough to buy whatever so if i'm doing my major market run in a year in a month rather how much does an average family spend on feeding how how do they want an average nigerian to cope how about those that are not only that are not salary earners that are not even oh god please 2023 let's get set and let's do this thing the right way god help us so i said i should just tell you you know actually i didn't plan to make um any video hi people welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> i am christina kelvin i don't know if i should call this i don't know anyway this is just a very quick uh, message to those that might be considering coming back to nigeria if you're in diaspora i've come bearing good news for you mm -hmm. you want to come have you you want to come to nigeria have you you feel like home sweet home there's no place like home because some people eh, the way their village people is, their village people, the way they have, oh, she was, she had, you know what that means. And of course, this scripture, our Bible makes us to understand that the devil our adversary, he's on rest. I mean, he does not rest. He's going from year to year looking forward to the devil. And I pray, it's my prayer for you that the plan of the enemy over you, over you, that you are watching, you are in diaspora. And you know something has been ministering to you something has been saying whispering to you well for some if you are from if you are very very okay 
see, don't let us go there. The message is just that for those that have been considering and you know, they've been saying in their heart that no place like home, home sweet home. I want to call back to my people. This is not even about being led or something. Just feel like, ah, I'm tired of the abroad. I don't want to know where in the abroad you are. The abroad for you can be Kenya. The abroad for you can be Ghana. See, eh? If it is not your, and I know, I pray that the work of the village people over you will not come to pass. Stay where, wherever you are. Don't let anybody come and whisper to you or you know deceive you and say that there is this um, home is better. There is no place that is better than home. There is no place that is sweeter than home. Home will always be yeah. We know home will always be home. But for the time being, and this is my this is also a message for anyone that is, that might be considering Japan. For the time being, if you have the resources to okay, please do. I mean, please do Japa. Please do relocate. A message from a concerned heart. See, our country, as of yesterday, my people, one pound is 1,020 naira. Please, where is that done? Please, where is that done? This thing is supposed to be one naira to one pound, but in our own case, it is one pound to 1,020 naira. And you are telling me that home is sweeter than home, Abby. Home is no place is sweeter than home. You want to come? Come. I made a video like in April. I think it, that was, I was very pregnant then. So that that's why I didn't get to post that video, okay? I made a video, I think on the 26th of April this year, 2022, when I went to the market. I'm surely going to post this the video here. And this is why I'm actually making this video. Hmm? That if you want to come to Nigeria, you feel like no place like home i want to come just know that food though that is supposed to be cheap for any come for any citizen of any country in our own country in your home that is sweeter than no your country your nigeria nigeria our country eh? food is as eh, eh, over you can see me in the kitchen and that is what, what actually triggered this video i'm making right i enter the kitchen to come and say i want to cook ordinary potato that's supposed to be like hey, hey, hey you know now nah, potato we actually don't go in potato in nigeria yes Mommy. i did yes no. Mommy. No. Okay. Mommy. it's supposed to be very very expensive if you don't have Mommy. at least 500 ah. naira with you you cannot buy potato Mm, right that is for you to know how terrible things are in nigeria okay a liter of fuel is now 195 eh that is your home sweet home for your information grid national grid has been falling anyhow anyhow in nigeria so be ready for what's it called national blackout all the time be ready so this is my message for you that before you come to nigeria let me just tell you things you know to prepare your mind for to in case your village people successfully brought you down uh, maybe you are even being led to come okay we get ready for insecurities okay the lord is our helper and is our protector and protect us be prepared for if i mean serious increase do you know how much a bag of rice is now Fifty thousand naira be ready to always live on gen okay mm -hmm. which other one bad road ah uh, uh, that one you know improve she be you know before you travel and say you know get good road you never improve in fact the thing from for we that in lagos the thing has, is now worse the pressure is getting worse because rain or flood or is spreading those roads that way at least manage it before you left you are not very terrible which other thing Oh, insecurity. She be home is sweeter than no place is sweeter than home. Abi, oh yeah. When you were in Nigeria, there was still, to some extent, our community, our country is still sane and safe. Now, <laughs> come. So before you say you're coming back, eh? Be sure you know what you are doing, and be sure you know, um, you know, be sure your mind is prepared, and you are sure, and you know be aware of what you are entering into that's the word yeah be sure you know be sure you know what you're doing and also 
be aware of what you're about to enter into. The Nigeria that we are in now is not the same Nigeria you left behind. And for those that you know are doing very well in Nigeria and you feel like I'm doing very I'm doing very well, I'm heading very well, and I'm cool with Nigeria, good and fine for you. But how about your children? You know, even our politicians, our leaders, that they are doing very well, hmm? None of their children is here in the country. Those rich rich people, they are saying you're yeah, be yourself. Oh please, I'm earning like two million naira per month. What else? I'm not being taxed. You know, tax and their abroad is killing. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Now, no, especially for parents that it's not just you alone that you are in this. You have children too, okay? How about your children? I want to believe our politicians are doing very well in Nigeria. How come their children are not here? How come they are not, you know, insisting that their children stay here? That's wisdom, okay? A word is enough for the wise. And yes, get your PVC ready for your PVC. Get ready for 2023. Because, because, we're not gonna...